Developing now, changes on the way for Title IX regulations. The U.S. Department of Education introduced a new provision that changes the way schools handle sexual misconduct by student athletes. WND's Tyler Janacki reports on how the changes mirror the case of an Illinois basketball standout. Terrence Shannon Jr.'s case has become a landmark case. It's bigger than uh, anybody ever expected. Um, it really is a landmark case. Under new federal regulations, colleges will no longer be able to suspend a player accused of sexual misconduct while the school investigates the matter. And that's exactly what Terrence Shannon Jr. fought for in federal court, a case that he won. I expect more situations that repeat what we saw in at the Illinois uh, in the Illinois basketball situation this year going forward. Michael Leroy, a law professor at the University of Illinois, did a study published back in 2021 looking at every reported court case surrounding an abused athlete. He says 75 percent of them were women and that this new ruling could prevent them from coming forward. Because it's going to come down more and more to a she said, he said situation. Uh, and when it's that situation, the, the female complainant uh, does not vocalize the concern. Um, and I think that's an unfortunate consequence. Leroy says Josh Whitman's DIA policy that was in place now kind of goes out the window. But it's not just schools with D1 teams that are reviewing their policies. At Millican University, Deputy Title IX Coordinator Dr. Wallace Sutherland is still digesting the new ruling before finding out how to move forward. I am very careful about reaching an opinion until I seek first to understand. I need to make sure that what we're doing is already aligned with the regulations. I'm really not anticipating that much of a deviation from what we're already doing. Reporting for WAND News, I'm Tyler Janecki. Now in the case of Terrence Shannon Jr., the university has closed their investigation. WAND News will continue to follow how universities in our area plan to adapt their code of conduct to reflect the new policy.